Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. The ultimate movie championship episode 76 from IDP 344. This is the top 500 films on the ultimate movie list which you can find over at flickchart.com what happens here is keith and i keith spurlock and myself sit down we're given two movies at random we must argue and fight over which of those movies is more deserving to be on top of our ultimate movie list over at flickchart.com slash inspired disorder in this episode we tackle and we we argue over the top 500 of those films to try and bring some of the the lower films up to the top and see what happens. So let's all see what happens in this episode right now. Starting off, the Lego movie versus Superman. It's kind of a tough... This is a tough one. And surprising enough, gonna go Lego movie. Oh, man. Like, because Superman has the nostalgia factor going for it, which helps make up for the shitty super... Uh, CG. Um, I mean, Lego Movie is a lot of fun. I want to see Lego Batman. And everything is awesome. Everything is not technically awesome. That's, that's in the Lego world. It is. It wasn't. That was brainwashing. That's brainwashing music. It was like that would be like the beginning of wa- Office Space, where he's like, brain. "Everything is awesome." And Everything then he gets hypnotized. Cool he's like, "I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> Fuck this awesome." Uh, oh, man. Like in the pantheon of our movie list, I, get I don't know which one. I don't know which one deserves to be higher. Because they're so, they're vastly different. It, yeah, I mean, it's a ways. kids animated movie that, like, aside from the cutscenes to Will Ferrell and his kid, which. That Five could've, minutes of the They could have cut that shit out. Like, I get it. It helps. The, it's with the story. It makes the allegory sure. of the fucking... But, it, I don't know. Like, when you go from animated... Like, they should have been... Like, in Toy Story. Mm-hmm. Like, if there was live-action people mixed with the toys, it would have taken me out. And that's what happened. Like, those... Mo- and they were bad. I like Will Ferrell. But those scenes could easily be cut out of the movie, and I'd be okay with it. Um, Man! Man, what's, I don't even know what the critic. I don't even know what Rotten Tomatoes. What's I'm not that I want to go the there. Plot of Superman One. Superman One. I mean, it's like kind of origin story. So let's see. Um, I, I like uh, I, Lois Lane gets in trouble. That falls happens from in a everyone, helicopter in and catches the helicopter, and uh, Lex Luthor. Is I mean he's the main bad guy in every one. Um, uh, I can't remember this specific. Like I'm running through. Yeah. Like the different movies. That's how memorable it is. No, but that's just they they didn't change it up much. Listen, if it in if there's like five Lego movies, guaranteed you'll start like mixing up action moments and scenes. In the Lego movie. It's like you're comparing a franchise versus a one-off. Because we haven't seen Lego Batman yet. True. And I've never seen any other Lego movies. There's movie. a lot of Lego. But they're all, they're all like B-side shit. They're not yeah. they're like straight to video. They're, they're not like with big name actors. And like this is like their big budget one. Mm-hmm. Where the other ones are all like streaming shit. But I've never seen any of those, the, the other ones. Um, man. Both based. I mean. The best movie ever based on a toy, first off. Fuck Transformers. And oh, yeah. fuck G.I. Joe. Huh. Not that they're... Well, yeah, there was movies. G.I. Joe movies. Never watched them, but I think I tried to watch the first one. I watched them. They're not good. Yeah. I, I, start, I, th- or I saw... I don't know. I saw the trailer for the first one. Man. I don't know, man. I mean, I want to go leg. A Lego movie makes more sense, but I know I've seen it more recently. I like Superman 2 better than Superman 1 because of Zod. Right. Is this the one? Do they capture the people in the glass That's paints? That's Zod the second, is one? second one. Right, right, right. I like that one the best. What is the. So it's this one is 
This one's just Lex Luthor is gonna blow up missiles uh, and try to create like Superman, beachfront like, property. Superman spins the world back in time, right? Was that Cause, this one? Yeah, because oh, Lois yeah. gets fucking yeah. hurt from one of the missiles yeah. hitting. And... I like that. I mean, I like the first. It's not bad. At least the first. It's two. good. It's a good movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the like, Lego movie better. But the Lego movie doesn't have... Like, I'm not going to have any kind of nostalgic... I'm just nostalgic, nostalgic for Legos in general. Sure. But... More than Superman. Superman was never my dude. Yeah, but the Lego movie I liked movie the isn't. Superman movies The Lego movie is just... It's, it's, it's designed... It's like... It, it could be easily the Minecraft movie. It's like... It's, it's, I was a master builder as a kid. So yeah. So that got me. Okay. I get it. But there wasn't like... They didn't have... There was no Batman. There was no like all the no, characters they, they, they had. Were, they were just yellow face guys. Yeah, this and way that didn't before. Matter. I mean, now they. I was have, talking about the now ships they release, and the creations yeah, yeah. more no, than the it. fucking I like people. Lego as a toy company. As I watched a documentary on them. Did you ever go to Legoland? Wasn't that in no, San Diego? You can go fuck you. I'm gonna go Legoland. How young? And I would have to be like six years old to even begin to enjoy Legoland. True. It'd be like going to the science museum and everything's fucking made out of Legos. It's like okay. Still not real shit, and Just now it's pixelated. Lego dinosaurs. It's you're all like pixelated. Damn it. Yeah, um, I mean it'd be cool, but not as cool as like you know, actual skeletons and shit. Man, I still don't know. <laughs> like Lego Movie, they're both on about even. Here's par. the thing: I just that said Lego everything movie is awesome. Me. Song is no is annoying as fuck. Everything is but awesome. Yeah. Everything but is that's cool also part of a team. that's also what it feels like it's to like fuck, be excited to go work for a corporation. Like everybody's happy. I mean, they're just happy to get a job and make and that's money. That's what they were kind of trying to say in it. No, the whole movie is about being fucking corp, like institutionalized and fucking brainwashed and like oh. No, it's like a, about everybody's going deluded against the that, norm. Everybody's deluded in this movie, thinking that, that everything is awesome, but not everything is not awesome. They work which like is what they show jobs. It. and then they yeah. and then they show like it's about breaking out of the norm and being it. a it's master like, builder. It's like uh, it's it's really it's very much similar to the the premise of Office Space. Yeah, but Office Space is Office Space, and Lego's probably not in our top one hundred. We're doing top five hundred. I know it could be anywhere in that top five hundred. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to decide on which one. Th- I, I don't know, man. <sighs> I mean, I guess I'll go. You said Lego? Yeah. Oh, Lego. Fucking Lego movie. Uh, the Wrestler. Enjoy that poster, kind of. Mildly. The uh, This shit? Not good. But, like, you know, the, f- the typography is pretty cool. Uh, versus Godzilla, the 1998 uh, piece of shit with the great soundtrack. Yeah. Matthew Broderick was in it. But that doesn't mean it's good. Yeah. But he was in it. He was in it. Uh, dun 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 dun. Fucking P. Puff Diddy, Daddy with uh, the orchestra. With Jamie Page. Yeah. The wrestler for sure. Yeah. Uh, oh brother, where art thou? Versus backdraft. Don't open that door. Don't open the door. No! Both, these are, that's a good matchup, I think. For me, it's Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? I never really liked back, Backdraft that I much. Backdraft, man. I mean, I I haven't seen it in a long, but I've watched it a bunch of times. We like, had the, the VHS when I was a kid. I don't yeah. know how we got in possession of it, my family. Yeah. And like, because you're even like as, anti-firefighter or something? No, it's just, how even, dare us have even, firefighting even at, material? Well, my parents didn't really buy movies. Fuck Steve Amiochich. But like, I... I've watched it a couple times. It's a great movie. Well, I could see parents getting it because they're like, like very popular actors of the time. Yeah, I was, but so for me, it was and like, it was a great movie. I think it won Academy Award, potentially nominated. I don't know. It did really well. Um, I really liked it, but I'm good with Old Brother Where Art Thou. It's a really great movie too. Kind of a wacky Coen Brothers movie. I still like but the still music in it. Kind too. of. Oh yeah, dude. I was, and I don't I was even working, like country, and it's me very country. When I worked at the, when I was a projectionist, every time like the scene at the, it's the yeah. end of the movie basically, and then I think the credits also have more music. But I would always hit and just turn up the uh, as the dog dies, 
um, turn up the my little speaker in the booth to listen to that song like they're well the concert yeah. thing it's like oh, it's always like hairs on the back of my neck it's like oh this is gonna be good like the uh, dance scene in, in uh, Napoleon Dynamite at the end um, Soggy Bottom Boys Soggy Bottom Boys yeah I'm good with my brother uh, tin cup, tin cups. I know it's in our list, but it's like I can't honestly remember most of that movie. Versus Crank, which I for sure remember and really enjoyed. Yeah, I'm going Crank. I'll go Crank sure. too, but Tin Cup is a really good movie. I'm sure if I rewatch Tin Cup, I would. I mean, I, I would just. I I'm say just that like from so memory. Vague. I probably haven't watched Tin Cup since high school. Yeah, I mean, like late '90s, probably last time VHS or it was on TV or something like that. Kevin Costner, Renee Cheech Russo. Marin's in it. Uh, I'm just naming people in it. I'm not yeah, saying that that I've, makes it a good movie. No, yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, I'll go Crank. I love Crank though. Crank is like it's very much like Hardcore Henry, where it's like a movie that looks like a video game, but it's a fun action movie. Maybe not great, but it's a really fun action movie. It's fun. It's a premise. You... But it's like it's it's and it's better dumb. than any fucking video game movie it's, ever made. It's dumb, and it's, I he's think a video it knows game it. character. Yeah. Oh, for sure it knows. I mean, the second one is like okay, oh, that's... fuck adrenaline and Red Bull. We need like electricity. We need fucking like we need to take it to the next. But it's like he's a total video game character. Like he never dies. He has power ups. Yeah. You know, he has turbo speed shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He has sex I'm with Amy Smart yet. in public. Which is, I mean, you don't see anything, but it's a funny scene. Yeah. I enjoy that. In front movie. of an entire bus. Both of those movies. It's like, like, as far as like a really fun action movie, it's definitely, it's definitely in, in the top mix of my favorites. Uh, both of them. Uh, Last of the Mohicans, which I do not remember, but it's in our list, versus Batman Begins. Which is the is that the first, first one? Yeah, Chris Nolan one. I'm going Batman Begins just because I've seen it more recently. I'm with and you on that. Remember, I'm sure, it. and it was good. I, I mean, I know I've watched Last of the Mohicans more than once. Even <sighs> I, I but saw. I it can't tell you much of what happened as an early teen. I probably yeah. saw it once, and uh, but I, I wasn't watching. But those I know movies if I rewatched then, it again, I'll probably sure be like, great. "Oh my god, I'm this sure is fucking great. fantastic!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's great, but it's like, like. For me, watching going back to watch like the classic movies, there was a point in my in my life where it was super easy for me to do. Like I was because I you know I just didn't know anything. So it's like, oh, let me watch all the Scorsese shit. Let me watch all the fucking whatever. And then like I kind of died off because it's like there's so much new shit and then TV shows. Some great TV shows came out, so it's hard to go back and revisit those old ones. But and it's not like I've fucking seen Last of the Mohicans anywhere to stream. Yeah. I'm watching movies completely differently today than I was True. ten years ago. Uh, Batman Begins. And as, you know, as far as the f- franchises and that, it, it was way better. I mean, the the first Batman franchise was fun. I mean, it started off fun, the first two probably. Started off fun. And then it was all about, are the fucking thing, are the costumes going to have nipples? Like, it became all about, like, Stupid, controversial, like it got more poppy. and more. Batman sixty five, the TV show, campy. Uh huh. The further it went on, kind of, but it was like, yeah, it With was just Mr. Freeze. I didn't even watch a lot of the the last terrible. ones, yeah, because I had no desire. But then they had that Christopher Nolan, which some people poo pooed while it was going on, which is fine. But then, compared to what we've gotten as far as Batman, uh. It makes Christopher Nolan look a lot better. No, I, I like all, all the I'm Nolan saying. movies. Yeah, I'm just, but I mean, like all of what DC's doing now, and maybe Wonder Woman's going to change that, but it's like nothing's even close to to Christopher Nolan shit. And they weren't even the the second one was probably the best. Uh, Nash Lampoon's Christmas Vacation versus The Girl Next Door Vacation. Girl Next Door is a... It's fun. It's a fun little comedy. Like, if you're in the mood to do, like, a teen comedy, you could do, like, American Pie, Girl Next Door, I Love You Man, just to throw a little homoeroticism in there, you know? Um, Airheads, which we've watched recently, 
versus Starship Troopers, which I've watched probably a couple years ago now. And it's all right. It's like a B movie, B action movie with a decent budget. I Sci-fi. love Airheads. I like Airheads more than Starship Troopers for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like it's when probably I was a kid. It's probably the best performance I've seen. Although I think he's done some dramatic things, but Brendan Fraser, probably one of the better of his comedy movies that he did. Encino Man would be number two. Yeah, but then everything else is like, what are we doing here? Um, and then Adam Sandler, probably one of the most toned down com- in in a comedy that he's been. Yeah, actually. Although I heard that he's in another independent movie that's in some festival right now, and he's like similar to his Punch Drunk Love, like very not wacky wacky, and it's like getting like crazy reviews. Good. I don't know the movie or specifically his performance, but yeah, I'm like I want to see more of that from him. Why do it and once he's making and like then have everyone talk dollars. about how great it was and yeah. then not really do it again? And But even during that process, apparently Wouldn't the director like, had to keep, like, it was Paul Thomas Anderson, yeah. had to, like, keep telling him, like, they had to do so many retakes because, like, he kept doing the Adam Sandler thing. And he's like, fucking just, just do it straight. Don't. Like, and it was a little. I wonder if he goes, have you ever met a normal person? Did they don't but you got to think about it. How long has Adam Sandler done that thing in his career? Like even before Dude, Punch he was Drunk on Love, Remote Control on MTV but with Colin saying, Quinn. His albums was, early on, Saturday was Night Live, way way before that. He was on Remote Control right. on MTV in like the early 80s. Yeah. Which was like a, a game show MTV used to have, which was fun. If you can I don't find any it. old episodes of that. I don't remember any I remember I re, like I can see the the like a, a snapshot of the show kind of, but I don't really like did people get thrown back or something if they were wrong? Was somebody in a, like a lazy boy? They're all point? in like a lazy boy like kind of in front of I a TV I remember type. it. Yeah. Uh but yeah, I'm good with airheads. Steve Buscemi's Steve Buscemi is just always amazing. And even when he's in Adam Sandler shit, like uh, Billy Madison, yeah. it's Billy Madison, right? Where yeah. he puts some lipstick the on, lipstick on, fucking great, yeah, fucking great. He's in there for two seconds and he's great. Oh yeah, uh, Big Mama's House versus Sideways, Sideways, yeah, boy. That Sideways Fuck. has been winning a lot lately. Well, it's gotten some good matchups. Uh, we got American Pie. Speaking of American Pie, thank you, Internet. Uh, versus Get Off My Plane, American Air Force pie. One. Uh yeah, I'm good with that pie fucker. Get off my plane. Uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Enjoy the fuck out of that poster. Yeah. Versus Pigwee's Big Adventure. Did you say Pigwee's? Sure. Kind of. I for like... sure said it wrong. Uh, I mean Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was never a big Peewee, although I did enjoy his movies when I was young. Like there was, he had like a lot of. Uh, Rube Goldberg is that what it's called where it's like this thing does that thing that was his show well there was uh, a little in, the, bit in the one of his movie it starts off with that where he's like waking up and the oh, feeds the, the dog and, and yeah, yeah. Um, I always loved that shit as a kid it's like oh that's so cool <laughs> and then it's like and then you watch and then the I grow up. right afterwards and you're like oh how the gate it's opens so much shit but yeah it was in everything probably but it's like you get older and you're like, wow, that's just like overly complicated. Yeah, for no reason. Jesus. <laughs> you like, got to reset all that shit I would shit rather afterwards. just, yeah, I'd rather just. Oh, my God. Open up the can myself and yeah. pour it in the bowl. Um, the Mask versus Elf, which is kind of weird, kind of torch passing of yeah. comedic kind of goofy actors. Jim Carrey to Will, Will Ferrell. Ferrell. I got to go The Mask. Yeah. Somebody smoking. Somebody stop me. Oh, that's right. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, numero tres, uh, versus the J.J. Uh, Abrams reboot, Star Trek. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Fuck yeah. I love that movie. Simon, Fucking, Simon probably says... Fell in love with Samuel L. Jackson. Probably the first time I saw him in like a, 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 like a big role in something. Yeah. Because I'm sure I've seen him in... He's been fucked. It's a as black, far as guys, racist cab driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The situation doesn't start out very good either. But uh, the Little Mermaid, which is good per- perster, perster. It is a good perster. Uh, I would imagine there are a few Little Mermaid fans that have that tattooed on their body. I would not be surprised at all. 
would be a good tattoo if that's your jam. Uh, not my jam. Well, you could use like not the my water and the sky. Either. It's to very make Japanese it like a kind of style. Yeah. yeah, or it could be a whole back piece or a shoulder Jesus. piece. You're like, hey, check out it my could back. Be a shoulder what is it? piece? Ursula. Like if that's your shoulder, yeah, your arm, and it just goes, and then you could do something off of the. It could easily be a large piece on a person. Uh, versus Tropic Thunder. Tropic which, Thunder. Guarantee there's somebody with a tattoo of that shit on their body too. But this? No, just fucking the, or just their, their the whole three poster. Yeah, just Jesus. the whole poster. Probably I someone mean, with flames. Uh, Tropic Thunder for sure. All right, we'll do a couple more. We'll move on to the top 100. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest is uh, numero uno? Uh, no, dos, tres? I think it's the first time we see it's, that guy. Yeah, it's Octopus Face. Yeah. Uh, so I've seen it. Versus Basic Instinct, where she crosses her legs, and with a VHS copy, you don't get to see shit. Shadow. It's yeah, you see, like, like I a assume mild... Assume there's yeah. like, there's, there's like, a crease oh, there. That's what pussy looks like. Yeah. There's no dick. Yeah. Oh man, it is kind of a crazy movie. I haven't watched it. Fucking. I haven't watched it. I haven't forever. watched it since I was able to get porn. Like that was a, that was a jerk movie. Yeah. Although it was kind of a, it had suspense to it too. There was a lot of like movie like suspense movies where it's like crazy bitch. There around this time, basic instinct, early nineties, uh, fatal attraction, fatal attraction. Uh, the only other one I could think of, but it seems like there was a few more. Single white female, right? Uh, Although I think the that premise two of that chicks. may have been different. Uh, War of the Roses, uh, divorcing couple though, but they were both but trying they were to both fuck with. Kind yeah. of, that was more like uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith almost, but True. Uh, very more realistic. And well, Danny DeVito gets everything in the end. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know. I care. I guess I'll go Pirates. Little. Okay, Octopus Face was good at facts, so sure. I mean, between these two movies, I don't care about either one. <sighs> like, yeah, it's like I don't, I like, there's, I don't really have a desire to, I don't need to watch Basic Instinct again no. unless it comes out with like 4K remastered. Maybe get to where see you can see the versions. pussy. Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, maybe the, uh, the they would have to sell it as you can actually see her oh, pussy in this be. version. It would be because that's it the would only, say it on the DVD. That's yeah. like the most known thing about this movie yeah. is that you get to well she opens her legs and you see her. Right, you do you see remember pussy. what she kills people with? An ice pick. Yes. Yeah. So we remember a little bit from it. No, I've I've definitely master. I mean, it's like I've masturbated to it a few times. Yeah. You know. It was uh, one I of those. But videos it's not that the leg crossing scene that you masturbate to. It's the fuck scenes in it. Sure. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, there's fuck scenes in you're a lot of movies. You're not gonna like. What are you? Gonna... That's the nicest thing when you're a kid back in the day. Like instead of internet login, yeah. you just get a uh, rental card, yeah. and then you just be able to rent rated R shit or what our NC17. I mean, I don't know. Depending on what you couldn't go back into the Depending, special room. Yeah, you couldn't do that. But back then, they were a lot less. Uh, like, are you? Let me see your ID. I don't remember, like, even working there. I don't remember ever carding anybody. Like, even at the movie theater, like, I don't remember people carding people. Like, if you're under 13, they're not going, like, I mean, maybe. It's so, I don't know. It's like that well, thing. It's not like, it's not like serving. Because, like, they don't have a card. Well, yeah, but, I mean, you'd have to, like, school ID or some shit. I don't even know. I don't think they do it. It's not like you're you serving somebody really alcohol. Yeah. 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 But, uh, How old are you? I think they just you kind have to of chop them base it and count the rings. Of, Oh yeah, I think that's what they did. Yeah, there's a lot of torsos hanging. This around. kid is clearly twelve. <laughs> yeah, look at it. he bleeds like a twelve year old. Yeah, pussy. You're God. only two pieces. Good thing we didn't let him into that rated R movie. You could have seen somebody get cut in half. <laughs> Fucking gross. gross. Now you people step around over the second half. <laughs> yeah, we got hazmat coming over. Uh, yeah, pirates. Yeah, I'm good with pirates. I'm not good with pirates, but Davy Jones. I kind of almost instantly regret going with pirates. <laughs> now. Uh, but whatever that decision's for the birds, versus a more colorful version of the last uh, of the Mohicans poster. Yes, yeah, just the same poster with color. Despite uh, not remembering, I'm going last of the, the Mohicans. I agree. That's what I was saying. Fuck the birds. Yeah, I just there's like, like a I guy. I like his movie reviews. Is like 
let me tell you how much I love the birds. And like right when he said that, I'm it's like, people that I are agree su- with everything yeah. else, but what you're saying now, so I'm just not going to listen to it. Because mm-hmm. why do I? Like, but we're like, in agreement with all these other movies. Fuck move, the birds. Movie it's not nerds there. have like will have like but the it's most. Hitchcock. There's a reason why people like David Lynch because it's like he's doing these surreal things and it's like very. Very, Dreamy. very not it's very dream mainstream movie. He's never gonna. He's not breaking any records. Well, he did make Twin Peaks as a TV show. Yeah, one of the most one of the most highly profitable TV shows of all time. I'm sure. He doesn't make profitable shit. No, mainstream's never gonna get a shit. The star, the the not Star Wars, the uh, Transformers crowd is not the same crowd as David Lynch. No, but. I wouldn't want them to, like. No, I know that's he doesn't give a fuck. There either. needs to be a uh, a Transformers crowd. I agree, but I don't think there needs to be that. Like they can all die. I'm good with that. That'd be a lot of that free a lot of shit up. You want to talk about jobs? <laughs> Most of the engineers. I'm sure there's engineers that like maybe not. Uh, I mean, there's just cross section. Most of them are probably like guaranteed. CEOs love Transformers. Guaranteed, there's some stupid fucking retard CEOs. Da 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 da. I'm gonna go watch that Mark Wahlberg classic with the fucking robots. The last one, shit's going down, and everybody profits. I love it. I love it. Uh, last mo mo chickens. Mo chickens. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, the director of the the birds. Like, I appreciate like what he did for cinema. Yeah, no, I'm like that with and, bands, like and especially like, like older metal bands. Yeah, like when someone goes Judas Priest or Iron Maiden, I'm like, I respect those bands, mm-hmm. but I don't like their music. Yes. So, like Basquiat for art. Yeah. Basquiat. For me, it just look. I mean, it, it really is epitomizes like the the fucking hack statement is like, oh, it looks like a kid did it because it. Re- I mean, it's very messy and which for the time. I mean that's the thing. It's like it all depends on when it comes out. Hmm. It's very groundbreaking. If no one like, was doing it, like fucking, then you're the guy that did it. Like, uh, but um, fucking uh, Pollock. Jackson Pollock. Oh. Like Jackson Pollock was like everybody was doing like boring shit, and he comes out with like the craziest shit. Like everybody's doing like I don't remember what they were doing, but it was like I think cubism. So everybody's doing like yeah, versions like of early, fucking Picasso. Picasso. They're all doing fucking. You know, just like the modern times, so many artists are doing the multiple eye bullshit. Like, every artist I see doing it. Every single fucking artist that I follow seems to do at least one of those double, where it's like two sets of eyes. Or and makes multiple, it look, like, that keeps going up. Yeah, I know what but you're it, talking well, about. Well, they extends, but it's the basic version of that yeah. is just the two sets of eyes. And it makes it, it's like... Well, hell, now even in the new Mummy movie, like... When the mummy chick, like her eyes start yeah. like splitting in her eyeball, like I'm like, oh, now they're just doing it. And well, that's different. It's, it's similar but different because you're getting two pupils. But it also does one it more than socket. once. Like so, it's like four by the end. Or yeah, something crazy. but it, yeah, it's it, but anyway. I don't remember the point of that. Star Trek. Fuck everybody in the darkness uh, versus Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost that was Ark. the second J.J. Abrams one. Yeah, movie? that's uh, fuck that con. movie. That was stupid fucking movie where the basically old Spock comes in and and spoils the end of the movie. Hey, this is how we killed this dude before. It'd be like if Star Wars in the opening tracker text is like if you actually because I usually don't read it. I'm sure I probably read it at times, but like imagine like most people don't read it. I would imagine. On the first viewing, the if you're dyslexic, crawl? you can go fuck yourself. You're gonna try and read. So I can't read that shit. Yeah. I can. I try and I can't do it. But imagine that opening crawl, just basically telling you the whole story that's going on. Like, and then you like watch the movie. It's it like, kind of does in the prequels, oh, which is stupid. Oh er, no, it makes them even better. I that's mean, the greatest. He created it though, so it must be great. It's yeah. for kids because kids love galactic trade wars. Or, <laughs> or. Oh, you're just stupid. You just don't you understand. Don't get it. You, you don't, don't understand get it. Oh yeah, Dad. You didn't like Superman, Batman, Superman. You just don't get it. Oh, rest in peace, dude. Raiders of the Lost. Fuck snark. yes. Fuck yes. You know what would be a close matchup? For get that? off my treasure. Actually, it wouldn't be a close. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, ooh, a scanner darkly versus Rocky. I like a scanner darkly a lot, but it's going up against Rocky. Rocky, true, very true, very true. 
Yes. Any other Rocky movie? Any other Rocky movie I'd probably gets beat Darkly. by Scanner Darkly. Scanner Darkly is a tough movie to watch if you like to drink. Motion sick on that shit? I mean, it's like, like remember the 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 early Mr. Katz animation? I think it may have been... Oh, uh, we're super... Like, super squiggly? Yeah. I mean, it's very similar. Yeah. Except for this is rotoscoped over actors it's like watching the but aha uh take on me video for like kind of an hour but and even five minutes more <laughs> visual stuff because that was just at least there was a white background yeah. and it was drawing on it so it was a lot less visual shit going on with that it's like the whole thing but i love it it's a it's a it's a good sci-fi i really like that movie yeah i need to actually it's, rewatch that it's movie. it's well i've definitely watched it a bunch of times but it's like it's horrible if you drink horrible well, I or if drink, you're drinking, so. <laughs> I mean, it's it depends on where you're at, you know. Like, if, I mean, if you're drinking and you're at the point where it's like spins are an issue, I mean, this could in it could, it could make it, the spins happen. True, yeah. But I'm good with Rocky. Make sure you support our sponsor Ting, that cell phone service at a reasonable price. Get yourself twenty five dollars in credit either to apply to a new phone or your monthly bill. It's the best coverage, same low rates, now with three coast-to-coast networks. Go through my link, inspiredisorder.com slash ting, and get yourself $25 in credit. Make sure you follow Keith Spurlock on Twitter, at Keith Spurlock1. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ah-choo!